Today's Breeders' Cup moment is brought to you by Disney's Secretariat, based on the impossible true story, in theaters October 8th. Every horse trainer wants to win the big one. Not many get that opportunity. For trainer Jim Ryerson, his big one came in the form of a colt named Unbridled Song. With just one win and only two races under the horse's belt, Unbridled Song went to Belmont for the 1995 Breeders' Cup Juvenile with jockey Mike Smith aboard. And they're off. It came to us with a lot of hype. Of course, there's a, you know, a lot of pressure with a young horse with a, the hype that he had. But um, he was gifted and, and he took care of everything. I think what our plan was to get him covered up because he had run off a little bit in the champagne and displaced. And Mike was hopeful that he could get him covered up, and he was. And then you hope that he relaxes being covered up. And, uh, you know, he did and, and was able to finish. To get to the finish line, Unbridled Song, still unproven, was put to the test down the stretch by D. Wayne Lucas's horse, Hennessy. All I know is that Hennessy ran a real game. It was a long stretch drive. It was a very good race. Unbridled Song and Hennessy in a duel down to the line. Unbridled Song, Hennessy, here's the wire. And it is Unbridled Song who wins by a head. A hard fought head it was over Hennessy. You know, you live your life to try and get a horse like an Unbridled Song. And so in these big events, you have so much wrapped up in him though from the owners, from everybody involved, that it's just, it's just satis so satisfying to see a horse, even sometimes in defeat, put on a good effort. So, I mean, it's just, you're very, uh, you're very happy, you're euphoric at the time that, you know, you see that he wins, but it's uh, just, just in good effort sometimes you get a lot of, uh, uh, good feelings from it.